comes NXT Women's Champion Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Yes, this wrestler really stole the character of Barbie. That might sound a bit harsh, but let's face it, in the modern world, it's really hard not to get inspired by trends around you. So let's check some obvious borrowings from pop culture. Barbie. We all know that Mattel's Barbie has been around for decades, inspiring generations of children. No one can deny that Tiffany Stratton's gimmick is heavily influenced by the iconic doll. The color palette, Titantron visuals, all scream the fashion doll we all got to love over the years. Even Stratton herself mentioned, I actually wanted to be called the buff Barbie doll, and they always told me that, oh, we can't trademark Barbie. Despite this, stars aligned for Tiffany when the new Barbie movie starring Margot Robbie came out in 2023, which was a huge success in the box office, making it the perfect time for her to position herself as the Barbie doll of the WWE. Hey, you watching, do you like Tiffany Stratton's Barbie gimmick? Comment below. Well, here comes NXT Women's Champion Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. The Matrix. Gail Kim's WWE career started off with an absolute bang. In 2003, she debuted during a Battle Royale match and surprisingly won the Women's Championship on her very first televised event. But many fans noticed that her vibe closely resembled the movie Matrix, starring Keanu Reeves. Everything from the leather coat to sunglasses to the Y2K-inspired coding visuals in her Titantron gave the Matrix. There's no denying that WWE tried to hop on the movie's success and implement some of its elements into Gail Kim's character. Well, we've heard a lot about this young lady. She is going to be something very, very special here in the WWE. Harley Quinn. During early years of Alexa Bliss's career, she would commonly cosplay characters such as the Iron Man, Freddy Krueger, and Chucky. One of these cosplays took place at the 2016 Backlash when she showed up as Harley Quinn. Now, this cosplay was so adored by fans that Alexa Bliss wore it on more than one occasion and, in a way, implemented it into her gimmick. And the timing makes a lot of sense, actually. During that year, the first part of the Suicide Squad movie came out, which wasn't received very well, but Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley still became a fan favorite. Maybe the character will come back in some form with the hype of Lady Gaga's version of Harley Quinn coming up. The Harley Quinn of the SmackDown Women's Division, but she doesn't need a squad. Britney Spears. In 2007, once Jillian Hall's gimmick of her being JBL's fixer was over, she switched to being a very unaware bad singer, which involved her singing to the audience against their wish. At the time, many thought that this was a jab at Hulk Hogan's daughter, Brooke, who had just started her singing career, which notoriously made the Hall of Famer quite upset. But it soon came to light that the inspiration for the character was mainly taken from the pop princess herself, Britney Spears. I mean, we can totally see it. The gears Hall has worn over the years closely resemble Britney's outfit she wore at the 2000 VMAs. Even Jillian herself rejected Brooke Hogan rumors and stated, My favorite pop star is Britney, so I get a lot of inspiration from her. Because I'm Britney, bitch. Oops.